What's up, guys? Good morning. Beautiful Monday morning. Uh, wanted to get, bring you this Metric Monday. It's basically um, in response to all of the comments and questions about the last Metric Monday, which was around uh, average handle time, where I talked about what it is and how it's a, a lag, or excuse me, a lead metric uh, and not a lag metric, or excuse me, vice versa. It's a lag metric. Um, and def definitely not a lead metric and uh, I had a lot of questions around that so I wanted to take this time on this metric Monday and elaborate a little bit on that. So uh, average handle time depending on the industry that you're in is going to be different, right? If you're a tech support uh, shop then it's it's probably going to be a little bit longer, right? Some of the tech shops that uh, or the, the calling floors that I supported that had tech uh, technical resources and technical support our average channel time was roughly 15 minutes, right? Which is which is relatively high compared to the other, uh, you know, customer service and and definitely sales. Um, but depending on the industry you're in and depending on the call type that you're dealing with, average channel time is going to vary, right? Anything from two to three minutes to all the way up to 15, 20 minutes. And sometimes some, you know, some calling floors, the their and the the company's methodology is hey as long I want the customer to be happy and I want them to have their issue resolved so if that takes you an hour to do it then I don't care um, but then you have a kind of on the other side of things you know BPOs who where they're you know the client is paying per minute of talk time or per hour per agent hour you know they watch that average channel time very very closely um, because every single minute. Um, is, is dollars for them, right? And obviously, you know, they, they have some threshold there, some happy medium, but um, typically they'll be, they're gonna be watching that like a hawk. So to go into a little bit more of average handle time being a lead metric versus a lag metric, I could shout all day long for my agents to get their average handle time down, but that's not gonna do anything, right? What, what you need to be focusing on is what goes into that average handle time, right? The, so for example, opening of the call. If the opening of the call takes a minute or 30 seconds or verification of the customer, the, the long process and the double verification, and, and maybe it's needed, maybe it's not, but the, the opening and the verification of the customer, if that takes a minute and a half, 90 seconds, that's, that's a minute and a half of average handle time that you know you potentially could look at changing the process, changing the questions, and, and lowering that average handle time down, right? Uh, transitions, right, from one step to the next, rebuttals, right, if it's two rebuttals, four rebuttals, uh, and then the closing of the call, right? Closing uh, on sales. Um, you can also look at um, different things such as what goes into the call um, and is it necessary, right? You can start to take out all these different uh, different pieces and analyze the call to, to break down how do you lower your average channel time. The biggest one for me though is a uh, hold percentage. If an agent isn't properly trained, they're going to be placing the customer either on hold or an improper hold, which is just placing placing them on mute, right? Which is typically a big no-no, um, and that just extends the length of the call, extends the length of uh, of the average handle time. So if you if your uh, call if you're supposed to have eight minutes average handle time, and you end up being ten minutes, twelve minutes average handle time, and you have three minutes of hold time, well, right there is where you need to focus on cutting out. Uh, cutting out that time to be able to hit your goals. So instead of yelling, hey, get your average handle time down, you should be focusing on, hey, you know, Landon Rich is on hold for three minutes. You know, go to go to the agent, go to the coach. Hey, what's Landon doing on hold? On average, every call for two minutes, you know, what what does he need? Does he need to be up trained? Does he need better multitasking? Does he need, you know, what is it that is that is causing his hold percentage uh, to be so high? And then that in turn will lower your average handle time. So again, I want to dive a little bit deeper into that because we did have uh, a lot of questions, a lot of comments from all over the, the world, really, from the Philippines, uh, my old stomping grounds uh, here in northern Utah, uh, as well as Central America. So again, guys, check us out, callcentercrew.com, Metric Monday. Uh, please let us know what other questions you have, what other metrics you want us to dive into, uh, and we'll make sure that we try to touch that uh, again on a Metric Monday. So um, again, YouTube, check us out, callcentercrew.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Have a great week.